you know, obviously credit to AM. They played a great game. They're a great team. Um, but we, we know that that's not, that's not the kind of performance uh, you know, we want to display. Um, we need to put up more points than that. We need to execute better and uh, finish in the red zone, especially. Um, but uh, you know, I think we got a little bit better today in the past few weeks. We did move the ball a little bit. Um, but we, we understand that you know, we need to get a lot better um, to, uh, to compete and to uh, get to a bowl game. That's our ultimate goal. So we got, we got a long season left. And uh, so we're, we're so excited for the rest of the season. We just got to keep getting better. Uh, just, I mean, defensively, we made a lot of, you know, mental mistakes, just not finishing plays. Um, it's, you know, stuff that we can, we can correct. And uh, just like, you know, Garrett said, we have nine games left in the season. You know, we haven't even played a conference game yet. We have, you know, we have everything to play for. And I think even though the score doesn't reflect, I think we're, we're getting things turned around and we're, uh, we're, on, we're on the up. So. How do you feel going in? Obviously, it's a difficult situation for you. Uh, I, I felt pretty relaxed, actually. Um, you know, we had <clears throat> really, really nothing to lose. I feel like, um, you know, we, between all the adversity we've had to deal with the past few weeks um, during the bye week and this week, I felt like the team came together, together better. Um, I felt like we had a better energy about us. Um, so I, I, felt, I felt fine. You know, I would have liked to execute a little bit better. Um, complete some more passes and um, stuff like that, and uh, I need to need to learn to slide. <laughs> I was gonna say, do you like going hailing? I, uh, you know, we we've been lacking energy, and um, you know, my big thing is if if I got in, I was gonna say, you know what, I'm taking over, and you know, we need to bring the spark back to SMU. You know, we recognize that that fans are disappointed with the lack of energy, and that you know, we we see it, and I just my my goal is to just. You know, bring some energy to my teammates. Let them know, you know, hey, I'm gonna fight for you guys. You guys are gonna fight for me, and uh, so that's why I did that. But uh, in the future, in retrospect, I should have slid more. Um, yeah, I know I took some shots, but uh, <laughs> but uh, I, you know, I don't, I don't have any regrets. Physically, how do you feel, Garrett? I feel good. I, I'm a little tired. Um, I ran a little bit too much. I feel like I should have stayed in the pocket a little bit more and just trusted my line. I feel like they played a great game. Especially uh, compared to compared to the last few weeks, I feel like they just did a hell of a job today. We ran the ball better, we threw the ball better, everything was just better. So, um, you know, got to give credit to the guys up front first and foremost. Um, receivers made play, they made some catches, made some great uh, catches on some deep balls and stuff. Just gave them an opportunity. Um, so, you know, we just gotta gotta keep getting better and uh, get back to work tomorrow. Hey, Matt, how difficult is that offense to contain? Well, I mean, they're. They're a well-coached team. You know, there's a reason they have that number six by their name. They're, you know, they make a lot of plays. They have a lot of really good receivers. Uh, Kenny Hill did a great job. Uh, I mean, we we knew we had our hands full from the get-go. Uh, you know, but that being said, we we still made a lot of, you know, just mental mistakes, just not finishing plays, like I said before. Uh, stuff we can correct, and I think if we get those thing, those you know, strings tied up, then we're we're gonna be a really good defense. Coach Mason was talking about the missed tackles, and he said, you know, maybe some of it was simply they got some really good athletes over there. Some of it, he said, was fundamental. Which do you think it was more of? Uh, I mean, it's, I think it's on us. I mean, I, you know, end of the day, we feel like we can play with anybody. And, uh, you know, we, we got to make those plays regardless of who's on the other side. What's kind of one thing that? Uh, I mean, just you know, we got the we got the interception with Shaq. We had you know a lot of a lot of plays that were real close to going our way. You know, uh, uh, D. Rich almost had that pick. You know, we just uh, we just know we know we can do it. You know, we're right there. We got we got, we just got to take that next step. Yeah, our our defense played their tails off, and it's tough for them. You know, when we get a slow start like we did today. Um, you know, when we're going three and out, three and out, I mean, they're getting tired. That's a great offense over there. So that's our job to help them out. Um, you know, over the over the game, we got to get, get a better balance of us staying on the field, keeping their offense off the field, and that'll help our defense out too. So, But we're, we're excited moving forward. I want to just say that, you know, a lot of people maybe see the three games we've had and the scores we've had, but, I mean, don't count us out because we're, we're, still, we're still there, and this team's going to hang together, and we're going to come back. So. Um, you know, despite what everyone says or 
what the scoreboard may have looked like, you know, we're still going to hang together and fight for not just not just each other, not our coaches and families, but for all of Mustang Nation, the people that came here before us, because we, we appreciate that and we understand that. So, Next week, the Skillet game, what does that rivalry mean to you? Uh, I, I've never played against TCU. This is like, this is my, uh, besides the end of last year, is my first uh, chance getting some real, a, a lot of reps, a lot of experience. Um, and I'll just tell you one thing, we gotta, we gotta play our game. I'm not really worried about what they do. We, we know what they do already. We're so used to playing TCU and we'll have no problem getting up and hyped up for that game. Um, being a rivalry game and at our house, um, we're excited for that. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll be ready, and we just got to come out, execute, and like uh, Coach Mason, Coach Mason preaches all the time, fundamentals and have fun. Um, that's what we we got away from a little bit in the first uh, quarter of the season, and we we just got to get back to that. So we'll was there ready. was there any difference in the plays being called now that Dan Morrison took over the play calling? Um, a little bit, you know, we changed we changed a little a little bit. Um, but uh, overall, we pretty much stayed the same. We didn't want to change too much. Uh, we got a lot of young guys in there, and we got to you know keep it a little simpler for them. Uh, but I thought a lot of guys stepped up. We had a lot of young guys make some big plays, and uh, that's really encouraging looking forward. Um, but uh, overall, I felt more comfortable with the plays we called. Um, I felt like you know we, we may have cut it down a little bit in certain aspects and made a few tweaks and minor adjustments. But uh, overall, I felt. Um, felt much more relaxed with just the play calls and uh, how, how we ran things. What was it like not, not having Coach Jones out there, he been your guy? Mm -hmm. uh, what was it like? Um, it, it was a big change. Um, you know, but we were, in, in a sense, we were lucky because we got the two weeks to get to know what it would be like with Coach Mason um, as, as the head guy. And, uh, but, you know, we, Coach Jones did a hell of a job with this program. He turned this program around, and we all love him so much. Um, and, uh, you know, it was, it was definitely different not having uh, Coach Jones on the sideline. But, you know, we, not only are we playing for uh, each other and for, for you guys, but we're playing for him too. Um, we, we, uh, everything we're doing this season is everything he's taught us, not just on the field, but off the field. He's just really molded us into better men. So um, just hats off to Coach Jones for everything he did. Coach Mason is a pretty loud guy at practice and pretty emotional. What was his pregame message like for you guys? Uh, I mean, he just told us that, you know, everything's there, you know, for us to make hap make it happen, you know. Um, it's really, it comes down to the fundamentals. He just preaches fundamentals. Just do everything we're taught. Don't overthink things, you know, just play, just play the play out of hand and, uh, you know, run your technique. Just do everything that we're coached to do and, and everything else will take care of itself. That's, that's his main message. And another thing is he touched on a lot is we wouldn't have it any other way. We want to play the best teams. We want to show that we can compete and we can win. Uh, we, don't, we don't want to go play D3 schools or anything like that. We want to be with the best. And yeah, the scoreboard didn't show you know, what we had hoped for, but we're getting better and we'll get there. And this is, this is the situation you want to be in as a college football player. You want to play with the best of the best and see what you can do. Do you feel playing the caliber of opponent of A&M will help build some confidence going into your conference schedule where the quality of opponent may not be as high as what Definitely. you saw today? If you look at Baylor, A&M, and TCU coming up, that's preparing us for conference for the rest of the season. Um, you know, so I feel like uh, you know, we've, had, we've had some struggles. We've had to definitely battle some great teams, um, but uh, it's, it's only making us better you know, when there's – um, just obstacles, it, it, only, it only propels you to a higher standard, a higher level of play. So uh, we'll get better. I felt, again, I felt like we moved the ball better today. You know, whatever top 10 team in the nation, and I felt like we did move the ball. We need to finish drives. We need to get in the red zone and put points on the board. But we did move the ball a little bit better today. And, uh, you know, we're just going to keep climbing. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you, guys.